Hi students, welcome to Career360. The long awaited day has just come. NTA has just now announced the examination and application dates for JE Main. If you just notice the website here, uh, JE Main 2025 registration begins at jmain.nta.nic.in. You can start filling in the applications. If you look at that, and the notif notification is here, uh, the online submission of application form starts right today on 28th October 2024 and the last date for application is 22nd November 2024 and it is up to 9pm on 22nd November but the sooner you fill it up the better because you will have correction times. The last date of successful transaction fee is 22nd November which means the money should have been credited to NTA account by 11.50pm on 22nd November. The announcement of the city of the examination is by the first week of January 2025. right? And downloading admit cards from the NTA website would be three days before the actual date of the examination. The exam dates themselves are between 22nd January 2025 to 31st January, which is over nine days. But remember, last time when the exam was it was done over five days. Of course, it spread over nine days, but it happened over five days with two sessions each, which means in all, there were 10 sessions of the examination. This time also, we are hoping that at least there will be 10 sessions. It might be more than that also. Now, what is the big change that happened? By the way, the result for this examination, which is held between 22nd to 31st January, would be declared on 12th of February, which means within a fortnight, less than a fortnight of the examinations being taken by you people, the result would be out on NTS website by 12th February 2025. You can typically expect this to happen a day before and not a day later. Right. There is one big change that happened in the examination process, which all of you must understand. You would remember during COVID times, that though the MCQ questions remained the 20, the numerical questions were 10, of which the student is supposed to take at least five of them, or any of the five of them. So the student has an option to choose which questions he will answer, the five questions that he'll answer. This time, that five extra has been removed. This was done only during COVID times. It's continued for three years. Now that has been removed, which means you need to answer 75 questions, 75 and 75, and there is no option for you to choose between two questions. The MCQ questions are 20 for mathematics, 20 for physics, and 20 for chemistry. The numerical questions earlier were 10, of which you were supposed to answer 5. Now there will only be 5, and you still have to answer all the 5. Same thing with physics, and same thing with chemistry. That's a big change, which means the possibility of you choosing which numerical question you will answer is gone out of the window. So you better prepare for every single thing that's up there. Paper 2A, uh, 2A, which is for BR and B, uh, Paper 2B, hasn't changed much. But for, again, the numerical question, where earlier the numerical questions, there were 10 of them of which you were supposed to answer 5. Now you only have 5. And you have to answer all the 5. And same thing with B, uh, B planning also. Everything is computer-based. Now, last year, the total number of applications was about 14.57 lakh students. And the students who appeared, unique students, between Jan and April, there were two sessions, remember? You actually have one you know, a session that happens in, in January and another one that happened in the month of April. This time the January thing, the dates are, have been announced as you noticed and the April would be again happening. And between these two sessions, last year about 14.57 lakh students appeared for, uh, you know, registered for the examination and about 14.13 lakh students appeared for the examination. This year you can expect about 5-7-10% students more in my opinion. That's because demographically, there are more students passing out of class 12. And to that extent, there will in all possibility be more number of students who are applying, applying for the examination. My opinion, it, this will cost 15 lakh unique students this time around. It will be close to 15.3, 15.4 lakh. And that's what my expectation is at this point in time. Having said that, because of the kind of stress that you're seeing in the job market, because of the kind of stress that you're seeing in terms of placement by some of these engineering colleges, you might have some kind of a uh, pullback. But I still don't think that it will pull it back to an extent where it will be less than 15 lakh applications this year. That is something that you must know. Now, let me read out some of the stuff that you should all, uh, you know, if I missed out anything, you, you would know about that. Uh, last year, when you look at the examination window, the window started on 1st November. This year it started on 20th October, only three days before. Last year, the last date of application was 30th November. This year it's 22nd November. So the total number of days for which you're going to do this is over 26 days this time, around th whereas it was 30 days when you could ap apply over it last year. The exam date 
this last year was on 24th Jan onwards till 1st of February, which essentially means about 8 days. This time it's from 22nd January to 31st January, it's about 9 days. The result last year was 12th February, this year also it's 12th February. So that's what is a big change here. The, MC, the numerical questions is a big change that happened. Otherwise, I think it's more or less follow, follows the same pattern. Uh, as I said last year, about 14.5, oh, the number is 14.76 lakh students who uh, you know, applied, registered for the examination last year and 14.15 lakh students appeared for the examination. And this year I'm expecting it to be 15 lakh students. So go to the NTA website, download your form, start applying for it right now. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, if you need any help in preparation, if you need any sample papers of the last for last many years, solutions and all, please go to career360.com, log in and register and download those papers, those entire sample papers, entire solutions, all for free if you want it. Because we are here to help you crack this examination. We are here to ensure that you get into your primary goal of getting into one of the IITs and NITs. And any help that you need from us, from that perspective, we created content, we created videos, we created question papers, we created mock tests, we created a complete set where you can actually take the examination uh, on our platform, which is learn.careers360.com. Go there, use those services, use those products, use those features. And if you still need anything, please come back to us. And I promise you that we'll ensure that we'll help you in every way possible, wherever it is possible for us. Thank you so much. Goodbye.